The day started like any other, but for Baradun, when he visited his subordinate colleague, he was duped in, by his own arrogance, and he found himself stuck in a experimental machine by Master Leofil, the head of Arcane Research, who drained Baradun of all his power and, and with the intent of killing him. But Baradun managed to escape with just a sliver of power left, and he managed to escape to Honeywood, where he met with his friends, Greg and Bodger, and a new friend, Bob, an elf who doesn't act very elven-like. Independently, they all started to notice that they were losing some things. You stole my, uh, my helmet, haven't you? What? I've misplaced some gold. I have a feeling it's in that lake. Get in the water! Come on, guys, let's look for our stuff! Let's do it! And they noticed that some bullywugs were behind it, some frog people who liked to steal things. I haven't seen that before. That's new. So they traced those bullywug men back into the swamps where they've met the bullywug king himself, who agreed that he would return them their stolen items if they dealt with a wolf problem for him. Yes, we should go and kill oh, the wolves. Yeah, yeah. I am playing no wolves. part in this. Go yes, to kill the wolves. We're definitely going to kill the wolves. So they ventured deeper into Lightwood in search of this wolf and found a ranger who helpfully told them the direction to the wolves, where they found themselves back in Honeywood. It's Honeywood. Then, having a few drinks in a tavern, they decided to set off again the next day. They must have had a problem. So they this met a different ranger who helpfully told them, no, no, he gave you the wrong directions. You want to go this way instead. Let's do this. And they found themselves, after a bit of damage and a bit of trickery, they found themselves back in Honeywood again. What's happening? They decided. The ranger tricked us and told us to go left. Ah, oh, yeah, that makes more sense That's to me. Yeah. I think we just got turned around. So the third day, they found a different ranger. And this time, they didn't fall for it. Shit! You rangers lied to us again! This time they questioned that ranger until they finally came clean. Why is your back so furry? And why does it feel like a thigh? They dropped the illusion and became themselves. A seven foot tall furball. It's actually a seven foot tall bear thing. Oh. Who is the guardian of a forest. And told them that they didn't really care to have the wolves harmed. They were only doing what wolves do best. They decided that they weren't going to harm the wolves individually, but if negotiations failed, they would harm the alpha wolf and take him out. And hopefully then the wolves would disperse and the frogs would be satiated to return back into their once homeland. And that's where we find ourselves, about to head into a, a confrontation with the wolves.